Here's a tip of the day for you guys. Beautiful big great room. Here's what you don't want to do if you're selling. First of all, they're moved out, so everything shows twice as much. Here they got these holes in the wall. Same thing here, guys. Got to clean this stuff up. Got to take it out, fix it up. So this, you guys, it may seem foolish, but just a little screw in the wall, some holes like this. Believe it or not, I mean, we're in a $240,000 house here, and you think that's not a big deal, but it is. So uh, if you're selling your house, you got to take that out, put a little spackle in there, a little, uh, and then paint over it. You got to do that. Otherwise, it's going to cost you. It costs you, you know, 100 bucks to get this uh, wall painted, but it'll cost you a thousand on price because it just feels a little more run down. So just a final thought on that, the master closet. The master closet got to be spectacular. And if you move out where your clothes rubbed against the wall, it's going to look bad. And that has to be painted because the thing that sells a house more than anything is light and bright. And number two is clean. And the master bedroom closet is one of the most intimate places in a house. So if that's not spotless, it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. So uh, just leave you with this one thought. If, uh, if I can get this through to my sellers, it's really helpful. And that's this. Little things matter. Little things matter. When you're selling a house, especially above $250,000, you are competing with new construction all day long. And little things matter. Everything's got to be spotless. If it's not, they're not going to buy your house or they're going to buy it at a steep discount. So little things matter. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.